Welcome back to a special night here on CST Tonight as we continue releasing the names of the newest members of the Louisiana Sports Hall of Fame. And we have saved one of the best for last. The LSU quarterback who threw the winning touchdown pass in the earthquake game against Auburn. It's Tommy Hudson who is with Victor in the Capital One Clubhouse. You know, I've actually been a part of two earthquakes. One, my first season covering the Hornets, there was a minor one in L.A. that nobody ever felt. The other one, I was in section 118, watching the game in the student section on that fourth town, the night that the earth shook in Tiger Stadium, and Tommy Hudson throwing that pass. So, so many people talk about that game. Let's talk about that game against Ole Miss in your <laughs> sophomore season. Now, I've got to ask you about this. You and I did a story on the 10-year anniversary of the game and, and, and the drive. And you took me through every play of that, including a huge third down conversion earlier in that series before the touchdown pass. Is that game still as vivid for you today as it was the night you were playing in the Tiger Stadium? Not as vivid. I, I, uh, on the drive down here, I'm tr trying to recall some of the, the, the plays and the names. I used to be able to call every play and every protection yeah. uh, on the drive. But uh, as the years go by, I kind of forget. Uh, I've forgotten. And I'm more into my kids' stuff now sure. than, than, uh, <laughs> than my, my, my past stuff. Well, you know, when you look at it, musicians always hope to get that, that one song that stands the test of time, actors that, that one shining moment on screen. And you look at LSU football history, you've got Billy Cannon's run, you've got the Bluegrass Miracle, and then you've got the Earthquake game. And you and I both know every time there's an LSU Auburn game on TV, they're showing this highlight right here. You under center on the fourth down, and you had just called the same play on third down. You went right back to it on fourth down, and you connect in the end zone. And literally the earth shook, and it registered as an earthquake at Tiger Stadium. What does it mean to, to know that, I mean, every year, no matter what, your accomplishment and you right there as a young quarterback making that play, and do you feel, do you feel that it overshadows everything else? I mean, you had, you had 31 victories and some big games at LSU. Uh, yeah, sometimes I do think I, I'm like a, a one-hit wonder, I guess, uh, just uh, through one pass. But uh, uh, <laughs> I wouldn't just say it's just yeah. one pass. But but it is it's great it's a great honor and um, to to be a part of LSU history and Eddie and I are grateful that the uh, professor left the uh, the ge uh, geological uh, machine yep. on and it registered as an earthquake so uh, the the rest of the team we're we're just really excited to be a part of LSU history. A lot of people may not know that when you were a senior in high school you also averaged over 27 points a game on the basketball court. And if I remember reading correctly, you had <coughs> schools like Stanford, some of the Ivy League schools had offered you to play football and basketball, but you had a passion for LSU. Were you ever close to maybe pursuing a career on the hardwood because your college football career took you to the NFL? Did you ever think about shooting the hoop instead? I, I did. I uh, I grew up since I was four or five years old. Always, I always wanted to play college basketball. I wanted to play in the NBA. And um, it really kind of changed, I think, when I was a junior, senior in high school. Uh, the football team was really good uh, when I was a senior in high school. We had a good record and the community was behind us. And, basketball team we were so so and it just just felt right to go to LSU and, and play football. Well, you see the numbers there that you put up in your LSU career and being the leader in passing yards and touchdown passes the pass completions I talked about your career seventh season in the NFL a third round pick in 1990 and of course when you have those careers in purple and gold and college athletes will tell you all the time you, you form those special bonds and you said that you and Eddie, Eddie are very close and mm -hmm. thankful for having that opportunity well I know you had a way to set some special bonds with some other players and it just so happens for you we have an extra special message for you tonight from an actual other member of the class of 2013. A little something for you. So here, take a look and a listen to this. Tommy, uh, I know you're in studio right now, and I just want to say congratulations. It's a privilege for me to be inducted into the Louisiana Sports Hall of Fame the same time that you are. Um, I, I tell a story all the time about my freshman year. We were on the buses coming back from the Ponderosa, back to the stadium, and uh, you kicked my pads off the bus. I got payback the next day and, and taped all your pads, your gear, and everything up in one big wad. And uh, you, if I recall, you were late to practice that day. And uh, I got an earful from you. But um, I had a lot of respect for you and enjoyed being part of, you know, part of the Tigers with you. And um, congratulations. You must have had some confidence. I've seen how, I know how big and strong Kevin is. You're, you're kicking this stuff off the bus coming back from the practice field? Well, I grew up in LaFouche Parish. We take on anybody. You're tough. Right? It <laughs> doesn't, doesn't matter all coming. So, well, by the way, his birthday is Monday, so early happy well, birthdays. Thank you. And thank of you. all, congratulations on I the honor it, and everything. And, and enjoy the weekend up there. Well yep. deserved. Enjoy being with you and knowing you for all these for, years. For quite a long time. Yep. It's been a lot of fun yep. and it's great. Thank so we you. appreciate you spending the time thank with us you. tonight.